PhotoReflect gives you the ability to provide data to your photos published online. This feature can be used to help your customer find their photos fast in a large event, like a marathon event that can be searched by bib number. It can also be set up to restrict access to customers who do not have the required information, like a school event that requires a student ID to view that student's photos. First, let's start to create a marathon event that will allow customers to search by bib number. Start a new event and on the Security and Expiration page, select the Data Settings button. In this pop-up window, you will be creating the data fields that you will be tagging your photos with. This can be any data that you would like. Here, I'll be creating a data field for bib numbers. I'm choosing to prompt my customers, so they will be presented with a search field before entering the event, but we'll also have the option to enter the event without a bib number. Now, let's add photos and start to tag them. After my photos have been added, I'll right-click the image and select Edit to open the workshop. I'll use the Data tab to tag the photos. I'm hitting the tab on my keyboard to go to the next image, where I enter in that image's data, and so on. Once all my bib numbers are added, I'll publish, and we can see how this feature will work on the store. As you can see, we are prompted to enter in our bib number, or I can click Browse All to view all the photos in this event. Now, let's look at another way to utilize data to make our event more secure. For this example, we are creating a school event where we will utilize a CSV file to assign our data. A CSV file can be utilized to tag photos in bulk if I know the data that corresponds to the file name ahead of time. As you can see, the first row of the spreadsheet defines our data fields, and the data we are importing is below. There are a few variations for setting up your CSV file. We provide instructions to these variations on the support page at photoreflect.com. Now that the file has imported, the data I have defined is matched to the corresponding photo. By choosing Data Options, I'll now set my preferences for what information my customer will be asked to provide and if I would like this information to be required, prompted, or optional. For this event, I would like my customer to be required to enter their student ID. I'll also turn off the published setting for the other data that was imported so that we do not request it of the customer. Now that I've published, let's see how this event shows on the store. Because I set the student ID to be required, if I do not enter an exact match to the data, I cannot view the photos. This also means that when I do enter the correct student ID, the store only shows me photos associated with that ID. We hope you enjoy offering this feature for your customer. If you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to email us at support at photoreflect.com.